Now, should we cheer you up? Why not? The Met Office is delivering some good news for uh, many in uh, Britain, reporting chances of 20 degrees Celsius on the way. We haven't seen that for a while. Hot air expected, not arriving from here, but from France and Spain. Parts of the UK overtaking popular holiday destinations such as Barcelona or Ibiza, we're told, in the coming days. Well, at least in terms of the temperature. Well, joining us uh, now is John Ketley, uh, weather forecaster. And, John, it doesn't seem that long ago we were talking about the snow and then the storm. Now the sunshine, or at least higher temperatures. Yeah, the sunshine is never guaranteed, Mark, but the higher temperatures <laughs> for some of us is guaranteed in the next two or three days. But I'm going to tell you straight away, this is a very difficult time of the year to be a weatherman because the weather, well, it can be very capricious. That's probably the best way of putting it. It's the best word I can use in April. We talk about April showers. We also talk about the wind changing direction at a whim, really. So although it's going into the south at the moment, it won't stay there for too long because eventually the easterly winds will take over. That'll be in the next 24 hours. And it does mean that if you're anywhere near the eastern coast, it is going to feel a lot chillier. And that pattern will continue throughout this week as well. So don't get too carried away. It isn't a heat wave. But having said that, uh, some places in the west and the north are already up to 18 and 19 degrees. Looking on my charts here, and uh, 19 degrees now in Altnahara, which is up in Sutherland, we could get yeah. 20 or 21 somewhere up towards Ullapool today. And it's always in the west where you've got more of a south or southeasterly drift this week where we're going to see the higher temperatures. But things will change in the middle of the week, say Thursday onwards. Things will deteriorate because we are going to see some rain. And as I say, capricious is the word because okay. I wouldn't rule out snow back into the north of Scotland by this time next week. Well, I was going to ask, is that out Nahara, that seems to ring a bell that we had the lowest temperature there over the winter, I seem to remember. Probably did, yes. I haven't got those figures in front of me. You're probably right, Mark. You're brilliant, I have to say. Who needs maths? <laughs> with a memory like yours, you just, uh, <laughs> we'll stick with you and, uh, and all your knowledge. Uh, but we've got, <laughs> yes, we often get the very low temperatures in places like Braemar, Alt Nahara, Tindrum, all these places up in the north of Scotland. And interestingly, at this time of the year, you've got still very long nights, still fairly long nights. Yeah. So you can get very cold and still get the hot temperatures during the day. So they could go in Alt Nahara from minus two up to plus 20, 21. Right, because I was going to ask, everyone's heading to the, uh, the various sort of garden centres at the moment, getting their bedding plants. I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that it's not perhaps quite time yet to put them all, all in the garden. No, I think bedding plants shouldn't be uh, out just yet, really. You've got to be very careful. Depends on which part of the uh, country you're in, of course. Down in the southwest, around Devon and Cornwall, you probably get away with it. But uh, in some other places, well... The weather can still play tricks on us, and uh, there's no doubt about it. I don't think this is a heat wave that's going to last. There will be an unsettled spell coming up, and uh, eventually the winds will turn back into the north. So we could be looking at Arctic winds through the second half of the weekend. So oh, it's going to bring right. much uh, cooler weather again. Yeah. As Brian Johnson, uh, uh, or Brian Roberts, rather, my um, geography teacher used to say, we don't have a climate, we just have weather. Keeps you in business, though, yeah. doesn't it? And isn't that more interesting, just to have weather rather than Absolutely. talking about climate all the time? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you back next week and see where we are then. It could be completely different, of course. John, as